and Councillor Ives, and I think uh, Councillor Lindell will be in here. Adam, you're going to help uh, on the presentation. Uh, so just to get started real quick, uh, um, really this is uh, something we've been working on uh, for well over a year. Uh, I had the opportunity to meet OpenGov at a U.S. Conference of Mayors event in 2015, I believe it was, uh, and had a chance to see what they were doing in the area of bringing uh, really good information and data to the public in ways that the public could be kept in the loop uh, on what cities were doing or organizations where OpenGov had a presence when it came to the expenditure of funds. And uh, I'm very thankful that they have worked with our city uh, over the past several months to actually go live uh, and to really bring a whole new uh, level of transparency to City Hall and the budget that we use to support services across a variety of um, areas here at the city. One of the things that we heard continuously during the, uh, the budget fix uh, and the deficit was just the public not really knowing what led to the deficit, not really knowing how the city was spending their funds, uh, and really only getting a chance to see uh, that once a year if they had the time to come down to a finance committee meeting or to be able to look at um, a budget document that in many respects was very uh, stagnant and didn't really show what was going on in, in real time. It was more of a what the council was expecting to spend over the course of a year. The hope now with OpenGov is one, to be able to, uh, at the convenience of a citizen, look at the city's budget, understand where the resources have been allocated. And the desire is uh, to continuously over time update uh, the OpenGov portal that will allow uh, the constituents to uh, monitor how the city's spending money uh, month over month. Um, this will be a continuous work in progress. So what we see today is uh, really uh, uh, our first uh, step in making data available to the public as it relates to the city resources and the financial condition of the city. Uh, there is some limited, I believe, at least what I saw earlier, some limited data that shows our July spending activity on there. Is that right, Oscar? Uh, and when you go through it, and they'll go through it now, you'll get to see to what detail that spending activity is in place. And so, of course, uh, OpenGov will be able to um, update that as they get the information. Before I hand it over to Renee, or who's going to take the lead, or Santenas, before, uh, let me just remind um, uh, members of the press and the public that the council has taken uh, not only huge steps in being able to balance our budget in ways that helps to right size City Hall, but they've also allocated uh, the necessary funds to develop a new uh, enterprise resource planning system uh, for the city. What that means is a new uh, set of uh, tool sets, not only to City Hall, but to the public, will be made available over the course of the next two years, or is that about the, about the time to implement an ERP system? Uh, so this, uh, this effort now with OpenGov will allow for us, in the interim, to provide data to the public in as timely a manner as possible uh, until we get in place this new ERP system, which will uh, once that goes live, will allow for uh, far more um, uh, readily available data, not only to City Hall, but also to members of the public as well.